Well, hello. My name is John Streeter. I'm a lecturer at the University of Tasmania, have been for a number of years. I was first of all encouraged to join the group at the um, School of Medicine um, in connection with the um, Master of um, Health and Human Services and Master of Clinical Leadership, which were being offered by the, um, by the school. Um, this was a number of years ago, and at that stage I was teaching a unit of CAM 620, which is called Legal and Ethical um, Influences in Health Services. And um, that came naturally to me because my background was as a lawyer. Um, I practiced in Victoria as both a solicitor and a barrister. Um, and since those days I've been teaching first at the University of Melbourne and then more recently and for a long time at the University of Tasmania. Um, from the um, teaching in the Master of Health Services and Clinical Leadership, I was then encouraged to develop a unit in environmental health. I had been teaching um, environmental law um, in um, various courses at the university, um, and so I looked at environmental health. For quite some time I've been teaching um, environmental potential environmental health officers um, and um, I started up a unit um, in an undergraduate program to, um, to give them a focus. And um, so it was reasonably natural for me to move into the preparation of a master's unit. With the advent of Professor Kate McIntyre and Dr. Betty Hall, um, the university has been very lucky in gaining great experience in public health and Kate was responsible for setting up the um, Master of, Envir of Environmental, of Public Health, in which the um, unit CAM 617 Environmental Health plays a role, and that's the unit that I've been coordinating. The unit is, um, is an interesting one because when you look at the concept of environmental regulation, it was um, mainly addressed to protecting the natural environment. The connection of environmental health um, with the environmental um, legislation has been slightly um, awkward in a sense in that the legislation is not addressed to protecting environmental health. So it's a combination of the, um, of the role of the Director of Public Health with the um, role of the environmental health legislation that brings together the uh, protection that we are looking for for human health. Um, in, the, in the unit, in, um, CAM 617 Environmental Health, which I encourage you to look at, um, we, we look at the, um, uh, a number of topics. So we look at the, um, um, the hazards, the determinants, uh, the risks, and um, in the process of the unit we um, look at several case studies which give us an idea. At the same time, we also look at um, emerging and existing problems um, for population. We look at the diverse nature of population. Um, the uh, current environmental health topics that I encourage people to look at when they enrol in this unit um, include a number of things that you will recognise. One of them, of course, is the uh, impact of wind farms, um, whether or not there is um, a noise which is detrimental or whether there is some impact um, on, on human health. I also encourage people to look at um, the topic dealing with inequalities and inequities and justice in health management. Um, I look at the precautionary principle, which is an intriguing one, which perhaps takes us beyond the duty of care. Um, and um, I look at rising sea levels. Um, to what extent do coastal council authorities have a responsibility to stop people from um, building um, too close or even living too close to the um, sea. Um, I look at infectious diseases such as Ebola and the protection um, that needs to be provided for against um, outbreaks of diseases which one just can't anticipate. Um, and look at 
pollution in general. So there are a lot of topics of interest uh, that we look at and each day the newspaper is full of them such as um, lead poisoning and the impact of asbestos. So I would encourage you to have a good look at the Master of Public Health as a, um, a qualification which is um, right at the forefront of, um, of, of interest and importance for, for from the point of view of population health. I would encourage you also to look at the environmental health stream um, which um, I'm involved in with Silvana and, and Professor Tom Ross. Okay, thank you for listening. Bye.